Hey guys, my name is Austin Gregory, and in this course, we're going to build a cool little rocket defender game where we're going to have to defend our bases against falling enemies by shooting rockets at them from our armed base right in the center. We are going to spawn enemies randomly at the top of the screen, off the top of the screen a bit, uh, with a width that they can spawn at off the top. They're going to target a single base individually. Uh, we're going to choose that randomly, and then they're going to drive straight for that base, trying to damage the base. Takes three hits to kill a base. At the end of a round, you get points for each base you have still alive. And you keep doing this for as long as you can to see what kind of score you can get. Each round will last for a set number of seconds or a random set number of seconds, depending on how you want to do it. And we just keep going until you die. So in this lesson, we're going to lay out the level using some tiles that I have. And we're going to just build a nice little level. And in the next level, or in the next lesson, we will set up our bases on this level. So we're going to use a Sprite Atlas for our tiles. And we're going to use a tile map to allow us to paint tiles in Unity. And we're going to just lay out a nice little level. The Sprite Atlas is going to allow us to be more efficient uh, with the way our tiles and our sprites are handled. And it's very easy to do. So I'm going to jump into Unity Hub here. I'm going to open up Unity Hub. We're going to create a new project. So new project. It's going to call this Rocket Defender. And we're going to use the latest version available, which is actually in beta at the moment, 2019.2.0A4. And this is going to be a 2D template project and just create project. Now in a folder here, I have all the tiles we're gonna be using and a couple of sound effects. We're gonna use these tiles to lay out the level. We're gonna use uh, this golden gem here as our rocket. And we have some buttons down here that will act as our bases, if I can find them here. Here we go. It's gonna be our regular bases and it's gonna be our armed base that we're gonna be shooting from. So here we are in the default layout. If you do not see what I'm seeing right now, go up to the top right, go to default, and this is the layout you will get. We want to start by creating our tile map and our tile atlas. So I'm going to create a new folder. It's going to hold all of our tiles. I'm just going to call it tiles. And inside of this, I'm just going to drag the tiles we're going to use right into it. We're going to use these uh, to add some flowers to our level. And then we're going to use, let's just find the tiles here. I'm just going to create a platform on the ground using these tiles. We're going to want this as the rocket, and we will grab these buttons. Just drag these into that folder there. And I selected those holding down Control. And I also want to add this just plain brown so we can actually add a little depth to our platforms off the bottom there. And now I want to create a tile map using these sprites. So I'll go to Game Object, 2D Object, and I want to create a tile map. And that's going to add a grid to our scene with a tile map just like that. Now I want to open up another window that's going to be the tile palette, the place where we can put our tile map tiles and allow us to paint the tiles in our world. So it's going to be under 2D tile palette. Now I'm going to just dock this right next to my inspector so I can just switch between the two there just like that. And I want to create a new tile palette and I will call it main. And all this stuff will keep default for now. I just want to use all the default stuff to get this going pretty quickly. And I want to put this tile map in the tiles folder. So select that folder, and there we go. Now I need to drag tile, sprite, or sprite texture assets to create the tile map. So all I have to do then is take these tiles. These are individual tiles. You could use a tile map for this. It's already put together. But I have individual tiles. I'll just drag this over into my tile map. And again, select a folder where it's going to generate your tiles. I'm just going to generate it right in the same folder. Just like that. Now I have these tiles. You can rearrange them if you want uh, by going to edit, clicking uh, them and dragging them around. If you were to actually select it and then move it. But it's fine where they are. I don't really care. Now turn off edit. Let's select our tile map and we will have the brush selected here. And I'll just select a tile and I will start painting. Now one thing you're seeing is it has these edges extruded over the actual tile size. So we haven't set up a size for our tiles, and we haven't actually set up our individual sprites. So if I were to come and look in the inspector here with these selected, if I select our sprites, should have done this before here, but I'll just control select all of these, all of the individual sprites, not the tiles themselves. And what I want to do is set the pixels per unit 
I know my sprites are 128 by 128, so I'll just say 128 pixels per unit. That means now our sprites will be uh, one by one unity unit by default, which is exactly what we want. So now they just fit snugly inside of our tile barriers there, our tile uh, grid. And I'll add some edges here, just round it off. You won't even see these are off the camera, but just in case we'll have that there and then just add the ground below that. And we can also add some uh, some flowers here, some plants, just to give it a little life. And what we're going to do is put our base, our main armed base, in the middle, and then we're going to have the uh, four defending uh, the, the the four bases that will be targeted off to the left here and off to the right. So I want to jump in really quickly and say that I forgot to set up the sprite atlas like we were supposed to in this lesson. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that right now. If I were to right click go to create, I can create a new sprite atlas just like that. And I'll call this main as well. So what the atlas is gonna do for us is we're going to be able to add our individual sprites to it. And it's gonna create one single object that it can get all of these images from. And it's gonna do that using a coordinate system as it's really fancy, but all we care about is it makes our game more efficient and it just simply makes it work better. So what I'm gonna do then is just drag these over and add it to objects for packing one at a time. Or what we can do is we can lock the inspector so this doesn't go away when I select another object. And I can just select them all, holding down control, and then just drag them over and drop it on objects for packing. And if I click pack preview, we can see what it looks like in the end. This is what it creates. And right now it's on tight packing with four padding. Um, you can also not allow rotation, make it not tight packing. You can see what that looks like. There you go. Completely up to you how you wanna do that, how efficient you wanna be, but in my case, this is great. And what's cool about this is it does it for us automatically. Now, if it tries to get a sprite that we have referenced by one of these, instead of doing that, it'll simply go to the Sprite Atlas. Unity handles that for us. If it's in a Sprite Atlas, it does it. Very simple. Now, back to what we were doing. So that looks pretty good. I want to take my camera and change the background color so we can actually match. Uh, let's actually do a blue in the background, like a dark blue. Something like that looks pretty good. And our enemies are going to come down from the top and just target these bases. So in the next lesson, guys, we're going to set up our bases. We're going to build the object itself and write a simple script that will tell the base what it's supposed to do. That's the next lesson. My name is Austin, and I will see you there.